Well, hello there my little goldies and welcome back to my sanctuary and welcome back to another video. So today's video is going to be a look at this little art cart that I got here. This is a dupe for the Rascog cart from Ikea. This is not the Rascog cart. This is a dupe as I said, but um, I went ahead and picked this up from Amazon um, some time back and I just recently got it together and got some stuff put on it. Um, I wish I would have gotten one of these a long time ago. Truth be told, though, I need about three of these. I'm not going to lie. But I did put a bunch of my coloring supplies on here, and I wanted to go ahead and show it to you. Uh, so we're going to be going through each tier. We'll start with the bottom, then we'll do the middle, then we'll do the top. And I'll just go through each of those and show them to you um, one at a time and just show you what I have on here. This is not by any means all of my coloring supplies, but um, this is quite a few things here. And I don't have any, any of my pencil cases stored on here. This has got, you know, the stuff that I have in tins already and, um, you know, other stuff. So this is just what I have on here. We have to do a little sneak peek of the Goldies here. So there is Alex. Alex! <laughs> Say hi, everybody. And then there is Caleb right there. <laughs> He's just kind of sleeping on the floor. Okay, guys, we're going to go ahead and start with the bottom tier first. Now, this is Thursday morning, February 7th, and so I'm still in my nighty doing this. <laughs> I haven't really gotten ready for my day. It's kind of early in the morning, but it's very, very gloomy. So um, I've turned on a lot of my lights over here so that we can see. And so we're going to go ahead and start with the bottom tier. Now, when I showed my supplies of, um, when I showed my coloring supplies collection, uh, somebody was saying that they wished I would have opened the trays to everything like when I had them in the tins like when you saw the pencils in my pencil cases now I don't have my pencil cases over here this has got different stuff over here um, but when I the stuff that I showed that were still in the tins um, somebody said that they wished I would have opened up all the trays to show them I'll try to do that as best I can over here um, you know because I didn't do that in the supplies collection so we'll try to open everything up a little bit more um, so you guys can see it all right so here is the 40 set of the Karen Dosh pastel pencils and I got this at the Blick outlet store um, when I went shopping with Corey in January so this is this is the 40 set now there there is a 76 set which I totally want to get because if you ever watch uh, color with Donna you know shout a big shout out to Donna um, if you watch color with Donna she's got the full set syndrome which I am totally a victim of um, so yeah I totally have full set syndrome so I do eventually want to get the full set of these they're terribly terribly expensive though as you know um, Karen Dosh supplies are very very expensive but Hopefully, eventually, maybe someday, you know, we'll see. <laughs> I'll have to get some Amazon points racked up or something. But anyway, it does come with the little uh, sandpaper to clean things off with. And then it does have the little paper to talk about the product. So here is the first tray. And I got the camera kind of pointed toward my floor. I hope you guys can kind of see it. But there's the first tray. And then here is the second tray of colors. I haven't used these yet, uh, but I do plan to color a picture with these pastel pencils. So we'll be getting a little bit more into that. Okay, the next things that I have here are the tins of the Spectrum Noir pencils. So there's five different ones here. Okay, so let's go ahead and just take a look at what we've got. Okay, so this one here is the florals. And I'll just I'll open I'll open everything up so you guys can see it. There's 24 pencils in each one of these tins, and it's just one layer. Now this pencil here, as you can see, it's it has gone way 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 down. The lead kept breaking on it, and I sharpened it probably about twice. And you can see just you know when I was swatching them out, you can see what happened. So I'm in. I'm trying to get a replacement for that pencil because it really just torqued me off quite a bit. So I hate. Hate, 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 hate when that happens. Okay, so then here are the primaries. This is the, the primaries. Okay. Then we have over here the essentials. There's the essentials. Hopefully you guys can see that. Then we have got the shade and tone. Ugh. 
I totally want to get these out of the tins and get them into a case. I need to get a few more cases. So there's shade and tone. Totally, totally, totally want to get these out of these tins. Okay, then we have the naturals. They got pretty pictures on the tins, I do have to say. They do have very, very pretty pictures. There's the naturals. And I've just, I haven't colored a picture with these yet. Um, I haven't had them for very long. I have not colored a picture. I just swatched them out in my little swatch book. But um, we will be using them on camera. Um, probably not until I get a case for these because it's going to be too much trouble to have to open up every single one of those tins. It's just a pain in the butt. All right, so here is my backup set of Prismacolor premieres and this has got 72 pencils in it um now the 150 set ironically comes in a cardboard box but these come in a tin i think the 132 set also comes in a tin so you've all have seen prisma colors <laughs> so uh but anyway there's the first tray and i think there are just two trays of these in here so and then there's the second tray right there so there are the my backup set of Prismacolors. And the reason I got those is, uh, normally I would have just gotten them open stock, but the reason I got those is because they had them really, really super cheap on Amazon, and I had to go ahead and get them because they were super cheap on, um, on Amazon. Let's see, how does this go? I'm going to do it like that. Yeah. Okay. So there's my backup set of Prismas. Okay, um, and I'm gonna take out, I'm gonna take out like all of these tins like one at a time. Okay, so here is the Arteza fine liners. This is 72 fine liners. Let me let me just bring this over here so that we can see. Here is 72 fine liners, and this is another one that that this person said that that they wished I would have opened up all the trays to see. So here is the first tray. Okay, there's the first tray. And here is the second tray. There are three trays in here. There's the second tray right there. And then here is the third and, and final tray. Third and final tray right there. Hopefully you guys can see that. All right, so Arteza fine liners. Okay, moving right along. Um, this is the um, Marco Renoir colored pencils, and I don't have these in a case yet. I have to get them into a case. There are 100 pencils in here. Um, hopefully you guys can see this. We'll, we'll hold up each tray. I hate messing with these tins and these trays. I really do. So here is this tray. Now, I have hardly even used these things. Like, I've had them. This is terrible. Like, I've had them sitting here for quite a long time, but I really haven't used them yet. So... Um, I just, you know what, like I tend to use more if, um, if they are in pencil cases and I just haven't gotten a pencil case for these yet, but I will. Here is the second tray. We will look at these in Pennsylvania. And yep, yeah, we will look at these in Pennsylvania. And then here is the third and final tray right there. All right. We'll get these put back, and we'll use them off. Uh, we'll use them on camera, and of course, I will be coloring with them off camera as well. I just have to. I just have to um, get them out and make sure that I use them a bit more, um, because that's what I need to do. And they'll get used a lot more once they are in their pencil case. I just have to get them into a pencil case. They tend to fall out of these trays too. I just, I hate, I hate tins and trays. Honestly, I really do. Okay, then here are the Sargent Supreme colored pencils. Uh, this is like an upgrade to the regular like Sargent Art ones that you see at Walmart and there's 72 pencils in here. And uh, we'll again show you each of the trays. Again, these are ones that I haven't really used very much because I just, when they're, when they're stuck in the tins, I just, I don't reach for them as often as I should. Because I just, I hate dealing with these, I hate dealing with these tins and trays. Because your pencils have the, the chance of just flying everywhere and I just, I hate that. 
Okay, then here is the second tray right there. Oops, get them back in. So there is the second tray right there. So I will get these into their own case, which will be wonderful. I just have to make note of how many more cases and stuff I need. So then there's that again. Okay, here is the 60 set of Carbothello pastel pencils from Stabilo. Stabilo Carbothello pastel pencils. It comes with a little protective paper over the top of it to keep your pastel dust from flying everywhere. And I have actually used these, I won't say quite a bit, but I've, I've, I have actually used these to, to color a picture. So here is the first tray. These are nice, 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 nice pencils. I will say that. These are extremely, extremely nice pencils. Okay. And then here is this next tray. Now, I think there's only two trays in here. So it does come with um, a cheap pencil sharpener as well as a kneaded eraser. Um, and it also has, oop, and I had a Q-tip in there because I was blending. <laughs> so I did keep a, it, it didn't come with the Q-tip, but I kept the Q-tip in there. And then it does have a little blending stump as well. So there's that right there. I forgot I had that Q-tip in there, but yeah, I kept that in there for blending as well. And then um, it's nice that it does come with one blending stump, but um, I do have quite a few other blending stumps that I've, I have gotten. Okay, I'm going to get these back in here. Then I have... My Neo Color 2s, this is from Karen Dosh. Let me move some stuff out of the way here. Oh, there we go. These are my Neo Color 2s from Karen Dosh. These are water soluble crayons. So we'll open these up and we'll show you what these look like. It has a little paper over the top of it to protect them. Okay. So there was the first tray. Now this is the 84 set that I have here. And these trays are a little bit nicer because they, they do come in the in this, um, it, it is a metal tray. It's not those like flimsy, um, flimsy, um, oh gosh, uh, plastic ones. And then here is the second tray of these. And I believe that there are only two trays of these. Let me just, yep, only two trays of these. So again, here is our second tray. There's the bottom tray right there. Hopefully you guys can see that. And then here is the first tray again. Neo Color 2s. All right, then um, I have this set of Venus colored pencils here. This is a vintage set of colored pencils. These actually belong to my husband, and he used them like a long time ago. <laughs> um, he doesn't anymore, so I got them. Oops, and they are falling out. I got them. And let me get them put back in. Ugh. All right. All right. One of those like uh, one of those moments where uh, uh, you have like an unplanned oopsie here. So I'm having pencils that are falling out everywhere. So here is what the pencils look like. Now I just I went ahead and kept them in this box because I thought they were kind of neat that way. And it looks like I have a lead that broke. Ugh. I do have a lead that broke, so I'm gonna have to sharpen one of them. But there's what those look like. Uh, 24 pencils in this set. Now he did use them quite a bit, but he doesn't anymore. So I ended up with them. We will color with them on camera and we'll see how they work. Okay, then I have Prismacolor Varathins right here. I'm not going to open the box and show those. Um, here is a set of the Blick 
Studio pencils. This is the, the grays. There's 12 pencils in here. And it just opens up like that. There's 12 pencils in there. I got those when I went shopping with Corey. Here's a set of Derwent metallic pencils. There's 12 pencils in here as well. Okay, and there's, there's those. There's those pencils. And then I have, um, this is a uh, Studler Fine Liners. These, these are the 20 uh, Tri-Plus Fine Liners in this set. And then uh, last but not least in this tray is I have the Gold Faber pencils. This is a set of 12. And I do want to get the entire set. Um, I got these when I went shopping with Corey. Uh, but I do want to get the entire set because, again, I have that full set syndrome. You know how that goes. All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and put everything back in this tier. And then we will... Uh, move on to the second tier. So just give me a minute and I will be right back. All right, guys, another sneak peek of the Goldies here. There's Caleb. <laughs> he came out to see what was going on. So there's Caleb and then Alex. Alex. And then there's Alex. <laughs> Say hi. Say hi, everybody. All right, guys. Um... <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and get the, uh, <laughs> look at that nose. I'm going to go ahead and get the camera onto the tripod and we will get with the second tier. All right, guys. So moving onward to the second tier of things here. So this is the Lyra brush pens. This is a uh, dual tipped pens, dual tipped markers. And there are, um, um, there are 24 markers in here. So here are the, the trays of these. And it's hard to show you what the pens are like. It's hard to show you what the nibs are going to look like uh, from this angle. But there is a brush tip and then like a regular like fine tip on here. So uh, these are OK. Um, not as good as the Arteza brush pens and probably not as good as the Zigs. I don't have the Zigs right now. Um, I say it right now, um, spoiler alert, uh, I will be getting some zigs very soon, but I do not have them here yet. All right. I'm probably going to get these out of these, this box in time and get them into a case because again, these, these boxes and these trays are just not much fun to deal with as it is right now. All right, here is a set of, uh, how many is in here? Um, Faber-Castell chalk pastels. This is soft uh, pastels made in Germany. And I believe there are uh, 24 in here. Oh, there we go. There's what, the, there's what the box looks like. So there are 24 in here. I got these at the um, outlet when I was shopping, actually before I was shopping with Corey. She picked these up for me. Um, it's got the protective cardboard. And then here is what they look like right there. So they're, they're really, they're really tiny. They're like really, really, really tiny. Um, this is not the full set. Again, I have that full set syndrome. So eventually I do want to get the full set just because. <laughs> um, Donna, I'm with you, girl, on that full set syndrome. That that would be me. That would definitely be me. And get them back in there. Here is the, and it sounds like they are falling everywhere. Here is the Crayola signature colored pencils. And I believe there's like 48 or 50 pencils in here. Okay, so there's what the tin looks like. I will try to show you the tray. There is the first tray right there. And these pencils, again, they fall out so easily. I had the tin kind of pop open the other day. Uh, really, 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 really ugh, annoyed the crap out of me. I hated when that happened. 
And again, shifting the tray around, it's making it do it. It's like these pencils are just popping out everywhere. Um, again, I need more pencil cases. I totally, totally need pencil cases. Um, totally, absolutely need pencil cases. Not going to lie. <laughs> and then here is the second tray right there. There's two trays, two trays, and then there's that second tray right there. So, yeah. These have to come out of the tin. And then I will be a much happier camper. <laughs> I will be a much, much happier camper when they come out of this tin. Not gonna lie. Okay, here are the Castle Art colored pencils. There are 72 pencils in here. This was, I think, my very first Pencil Mania episode. Again, got to get these into a case. There's 72 pencils in here, I do believe. Um, here's the here's the first tray. Second tray here. Second tray there. And third and final tray right there. Oop, hopefully you guys can see that third and final tray right there. So again, I just, my goal is to get every, every, every pencil I have, every, everything I can get out of these tins and into a case. Um, I think it would be much, much, much better, much easier to store, um, much easier to deal with because I just, I hate, and I know I've said it before, I just, I hate dealing with these tins really really hate dealing with these tins so that is my goal to get everything I can into pencil cases okay here are Faber-Castell classic colored pencils and I'm not going to open the box and show them um, I believe I did show these in a haul you can kind of see the pencil right there through there here are two sets of Pebbles chalk uh, I have the classic uh, 30 earth tone shades and then uh, pearlescent ones. I need to get the I need to get the other two sets. I thought I had them here, but I thought I had them here, but um, I must have just got these two. And then I've also got another set of chalk pastels that um, that I had. Now these were like super super inexpensive uh, pastel sticks. They used to be in stick format, but I took the, the knife and just kind of um, shaved it, you know, shaved the stick totally down and then put them into these little containers. These are like Darice, um, Darice uh, container jars. I think these are mainly used for beads or whatever, but um, it works very well for those pastels. Here is a set of Stabilo fine liners. And I got these fine liners normally to just kind of use in my planners and stuff, but um, these work really well for getting into those fine lines, those really, really fine lines that you would have a hard time getting pencils into. Okay, then I have the Ergo Soft colored pencils from Studler. These have 24 pencils in this set, and I just kept them in this little container there. Because this, you know what, these containers really aren't bad. I really don't have any trouble with those containers. Here is a set of the Chameleon Dual Tone pencils. There are... Um, it says just flip, just flip to blend. And there are, I forget how many pencils there are in here. <laughs> there's 25 pencils in here, which means that there's going to be 50 colors because they are dual tipped, dual ended. And let me try to get these open so that we can see what they're going to look like. Again, these must, 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 um, I need to get them out of here and into a case. The chameleon case, though, isn't all that bad. 
the chameleon case really isn't all that bad. You can actually stand it up and make a little easel out of it. And yeah, so here is what the pencils look like. I'm not going to flip them over or anything, but there's what they look like. I haven't even used them very much, but um, we'll be coloring with them on camera. We'll be doing a pencil mania with them. So um, I might, I haven't decided if I'm going to put them into a case or just keep them in here because this really isn't all that bad. This little, this little, um, that little case right there. So, and it's got like a little kind of Velcro, Velcro-ish kind of, Thing to make it stick although you can uh, you can get rid of this if you want to you don't have to but you can and I'm gonna just I'll just keep it like that for now okay and then here are the um, Amazon basics color pencils there are 72 pencils in here. And again, oh, I hate these tins. <laughs> I don't know how many times I've said it. I hate, 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 hate these tins. The pencils just keep falling out. I just, oh, I don't like them. So I don't know how much I'm gonna be able to show you of these pencils right now at this angle. We'll try. But these ones tend to want to pop out quite a bit. And the other day, like they they really came, they really came loose. So the colors are kind of in there like really mishmash right now. But um there's what the first tray looks like. And these are definitely gonna be going into a case because I just I can't stand I really can't stand these tins. And then here is the second tray right there. So Amazon Basics colored pencils. I think there are only two trays in here yet. So bottom tray. And then the, uh, and I hope I don't spill them everywhere. Bottom tray and then top tray. Okay, so there's those. Hopefully you guys can see that. All right, uh, I think that does it for the second tier. I'm gonna go ahead and put everything back and then I will come back and show you the top tier. So just give, them a, give me a moment and I will be right back. Okay, one thing I did forget to show is I forgot to show this roll of Amaze Rock colored pencils. And these are actually watercolor pencils. You can color without water on these, but you can. the magic happens when you add water to them. And there are, I believe, 36 pencils in here. <laughs> Alex, you silly boy. <laughs> I'm down here on the floor, so he, he thinks he's got to give me all kinds of kisses and stuff. So um, I got these because of Ann Manera. She had used them on her stream, and she said that she really liked them, and they're not all that expensive or anything like that. So. I got them. I haven't really used them yet, but we will. <laughs> Story of my life. Um, I have stuff sitting here that I haven't really tackled too terribly much, but that is something that we're going to remedy. Um, and it did come in that nice little pencil wrap. So yeah. And I can go ahead and put them there. All right. So let's go ahead and move on to the last tier. All right, guys, so here is what this last tier is going to look like. Now, um, I, do have, uh, I do have two sets of these like Piritaki watercolors. Um, I do have uh, two, two sets of these Kiritaki watercolors and I got one of them as a backup set um, because I really, really, really like these watercolors. So we have used these before on camera. Here is what they look like. Hopefully you guys can see that. There's what they look like. There are 36 colors in there. Here is my set of Prismacolor Scholar color pencils. Prismacolor Scholar color pencils. There's 60, I believe, in, in here. I've also got Crayola um, brush tip markers. 
and let me just kind of show you what the I'm not gonna you know what they come in these like little boxes I'm not gonna take them all out but you kind of get the idea here is what uh, they kind of look like um, I'll show them a lot more on camera with you guys um, I've had them here for a little bit but haven't really used them too terribly much we will remedy that but here is all the all, all of the different um, all the different colors that you can get there's the color swatches right there okay. this here is the Marco Rafine colored pencils there are only 48 pencils in this set I did not get the full 72 set I may do that one day but as of right now I don't have that entire full set here is my Bayland colored pencils, and I'm not going to take them out of the box or anything right now. Um, I did do a, a review of those on my channel. Um, I do have another set of Kirataki watercolors. I got this from Corey. I think she got this out of the outlet. This is a smaller set. There are 24 colors in here. 24 colors in there. There's what that looks like. Here is some Crayola dual tipped markers. There are two trays of these. Uh, there's those, and I'll try to I'll try to get this out one-handed. I'm kind of standing up doing this last year, so it's a little bit tough. And then here, are, here's the second tray. I'm not going to open up the markers and show the tips or anything. These are dual tip. I believe one has a finer tip and one has um, more of a more of a ch chisel tip, maybe or a brush tip, something like that. Okay, here is my set of. Um, Raisin, Raisin gel pens, which I showed these in a recent haul. So, whoops, can you guys see that? There's those. There's that set of gel pens. There are, I think, 100 colors in there, plus I have refills for them. Here are Arteza Woodless Color Pencils there. This is the Koei Noor Progresso Woodless Color Pencils. Here are pencil extenders right there. You guys can see that. This is uh, some paint brushes here that I use for watercolors. This is the Ashley Nicole woodless color pencils right there. And let's see. Right here is some Prismacolor watercolor color pencils. So, I think there's like three trays of these, but it's really hard to kind of tell the, the colors of these pencils because they're all wood, you know. So, um, there's 36 pencils in there. All right, so then the last things I have here are um, Artist Choice color pencils. This is a 72 set of Artist Choice um, watercolor pencils. And then Artist Choice 100 set of regular color pencils. And... These cases, there, there's Velcro um, that you can open them with. I'm not going to open up the entire thing because it's a pain in the butt, but here's what some of the colors look like right there. There's that. So I think that's everything on this little cart. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing this little cart tour. Um, like I said, I need about three of these. I really like these carts. I need about three of these to kind of store everything. But yeah, um, here is what I have so far. Uh, and yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Like I said, if you did, give it a like, give it a thumbs up. Um, leave me a comment and tell me what you think of this. And uh, subscribe to my channel if you have not done so already. And of course, ring the bell so you can be updated of new happenings. You all have a great day and we will see you in the next video. Okay, bye my little goldies.